Hey folks, it's Dr. Groovy here, Scott Grove of GroovyMusicLessons.com. Got another guitar review here for you. This here's the 2008 uh, Reverend Ron Ashton signature model. Ron passed away back in 2009. Uh, one of the original punk guys out there. Um, great player, great uh, Iggy, all the guys. Um, yeah, so this came out one year before he passed away, and they still continue to make these. They've changed the headstock since then, but here's the old-style headstock. This one was a um, new old stock, so I'm the first one to get to own this in just uh, rock orange. Okay, got Ron's uh, three little uh, lightning bolts there he likes on him. If you notice the body style, the top fin here is a little bit longer than the bottom one. Uh, Ron was always about, um, he loved strats, but he always wanted a flying V. He was uh, really after something like, oh, the one I just kind of converted recently, like this. You know, he just wanted something nice and cool looking that had three single coil pickups. But, you know, the world does not cater to folks like me or to him. So, um, a good old Reverend came along and did this thing for him. And... Uh, same as me, you know, I, I go out and I have everything built, you know, I have the Iceman thing and the Explorer and the Cadillac and everything else that I always wanted with single coils and did them. It's like, God, um, might as well let everybody have uh, that cool sound, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, single coil pickups for half the world, humbuckers for the rest, whatever. So uh, they split the difference, went with the ceramic pickups on here, so um, you're never going to lose your sound. It'll be there forever. So in 50 years, when the Alnico pickups have lost their charge, uh, these will still sound exactly like brand spanking new. So anyway, five-way switch. And with every um, Reverend guitar, um, you have this cool uh, bass knob back here, which I will show you. Let's just get down to the guitar. I will uh, throw out the uh, specs and show you all the cool stuff about it. It is very, very, very cool. Um, from my very first um, Reverend guitar, I'm glad it was this one. I always thought it would be. I'm just gonna cheat and check off my specs. Put on my groovy DJ voice since I got this cool microphone, and I'll just read it straight from here. It says, uh, Reverend collaborated with uh, proto-punk guitar legend Ron Ashton, 1948 to 2009 to bring you this unique guitar based on our popular Volcano model. This guitar melds three Reverend CP90 pickups with a Carina body for a raw yet fat tone with a percussive attack. The perfect guitar for edgy rock tones, but also versatile enough for just about any situation. Your unique features include lightning bolt body logo and Ron signature silk screened on the back of the headstock. Specifications are the Carina solid body, three-piece Carina neck. You're looking at one and 11 16 inches at the nut, which is made out of graphite, 43 millimeters wide for you folks across the seas. Uh, again, the pickups are all the CP 90C, meaning ceramic instead of the other. Fingerboard is a 12 inch radius. Uh, you got your rosewood there. Your controls are the master volume, master tone, and the bass contour. That's the back one that you have on every Reverend guitar made. It's very cool. I'll let you check it out. Typical five-way uh, strat blade switch. Uh, your bridge is a typical tunematic with the stop tailpiece, which I will be changing right after this video, but I wanted you to see it um, stock. And nothing. I'm not going to do anything to actually compromise the guitar. That'll be totally safe. I'll show it to you. Um, 10 gauge strings on here, medium oval neck, dual action truss rod, accessible at the headstock, uh, Gibson scale, so you know, 24 and 3 quarters, and you got the locking tuners. So, um, see, original list price they say here is uh, 1079. I've also seen the list price as 800 and something. Uh, the guy had it on eBay, you buy it now, and it's a music store. Um, for 800 and I offered him six and he sent it. Okay, so it was brand new still in the Reverend box and perfect, you know, so 
I uh, just didn't want the black one and the orange one. It's like, man, that's pretty flipping cool. So, um, again, check it out. Um, very, just cool. Okay, you do have what looks like the Thunderbird, where you have the whole thing going through, and it's raised in the middle, like on the Thunderbird guitars. There, you could probably see it. Okay, so it has that nice, cool deal going for it. Again, the three-piece neck. And again, everything is Karina, every last bit of it, except for the fretboard. Uh, Ashton signature back there, silk screened. And then you have some, uh, there you go, the silver Sharpie doing the serial numbers. And there's your locking tuners. Now, the cool thing about the headstock is it does not tilt back. Okay, it's just like that. <laughs> it does not do a tilt back thing at all. There is no pitch to it. So I actually enjoy that. Um, bound fingerboard. Everything is nice and beautiful. Great big dots there for you to see. Um, no problem there at all. Uh, you hook up not on the very end, which is nice. Um, you've got a strat output jack down here. It'd be really nice if it was up here, kind of like, you know, the road stuff, but it's not. And today I'm wearing things again from my friend who made this particular Dr. Groovy strap. Um, got it. So many great leather workers out there that have made me so many wonderful items, including straps and other beautiful things. Now this guitar sounds amazing in every respect. It's just as clean as clean can get. And it is just as dirty as um, a P90 should be. Okay. And then with the base contour, it makes so much more of a difference than you can imagine. And I will show you that. Right now, I am simply playing through a Johnson J station, which I will be using instead of amplifiers, probably for the rest of my life. Which is just simply that. It's kind of like the Line 6 pod, but these came first. So those were the first of their type. Um, love these things. And that would be that. So anyway, so it's wired up just like a strat. No weird things going any other way. So you don't get this one and that one or all three. So you can't get any of that straight out of the gate. Um, I've got it set on a Fender Twin sound. Let's go to the two position, meaning the middle and the neck. <laughs> Okay, so you got good old spring reverb. Okay, I'm going to try to show you what this um, bass contour switch does. Okay, when it's, or knob, when it's all the way off, that's your normal guitar tone. Okay, so. I'm going to flick off my microphone, check out the difference. First one will be without it, and then I'll turn the bass contour up. Okay, you hear how much that adds to it. So it is passive, it is not active at all. And these are low output pickups right around the 5K range. Um, they're just beautiful and clear. So that really makes a huge difference. I will shut off my microphone so you can hear all this. I'm going to turn the uh, bass contour off, go through all five pickup selector settings, and then go right back through them again with the uh, bass contour up. So just a quick run through. Here you go. Okay, so there you go. So what you'll find out real quick is where you would normally get something, you know, if it was too bitey using just the bridge pickup by itself, I will uh, 
show you that bitey just still on this sound but I will go ahead and um, then bring in that bass contour okay so it you can always leave it in the middle and you can add some take some away it's not just strictly a bass control where it brings in just more bass it does more than that so see if you can check out the difference I'll go I'll sweep through it a little bit you know slowly as well but first of all uh, I'll kick the mic back off check it out when it's kind of brittle and then I'll bring in the bass contour and you see how it just takes the one pickup that's all I'm going to use the P90 at the bridge and all of a sudden the guitar sounds full it does a really nice job so if it was a single pickup guitar that'd be a nice little knob to have so I'm actually glad this guitar has a knob on it so here check it out Okay, so a whole palette of sounds to go through. Um, everything is just great sounding. I mean, it's a good country axe. Um, show you my couple little places. Okay, so, you know, to have another flying V that I can use, that'll be great. And I do have the old Gibson Explorer with the three uh, P90s in it too. But something nice and rock orange. Again, that's the uh, official color, rock orange. And you can get it in white and you can get it in black as well. Okay, and again, the uh, new headstock um, is a bit different. It's just got a big this circle here is the shape of the top of it. So it's got a big ball on the top of it. So... Uh, check that out. What I'm going to do is there's a company called um, Talking to these people nice folks um, Tailpiece designs uh, Piece being P-E-A-C-E -E. uh, So check these guys out man. They're cool. It's just a www.tailpiece all one word T-A-I-L P-E-A-C-E dot -E com and um, I'm going to change my tailpiece and I'm going to change my bridge of course, my bridge, I'm going to use the uh, Wilkinson Roller Bridge. Get rid of the uh, two nomadic thing. And then for my tail piece, I'm going to use this big old snake. Okay, so your strings come out there towards the guitar. You zip them in the back that way. They just slip over the post where your normal tail piece is. And it will be about like that. And um, I will do a whole thing on the tailpiece stuff. But go check them out. Um, very cool. Again, um, I really dig this one here. The cow head. Um, you got skulls. You got the uh, iron cross. You can order it left-handed and make it upside down if you want. And then you have my snake and other things. But as you see down here and as you'll see on the uh, site as well, you can get these in nickel. I got mine in chrome. You can get them in gold. You can get them in black. You can get them whatever you want. But they're neat little additions. And you just take off your tailpiece and string right through them. And that keeps them on, you know, just like anything else. So I'm thinking about country and some stuff here. So that'll be fun. And I'll do a whole review on all that as well. Well, let's check out a few more sounds on the guitar. See what we got. All right. Let's go up to one of my groovy other clean sounds check this out get rid of my microphone
some fun. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. <laughs> uh, too much fun. That's kind of a neat sound. Okay, so some cool stuff. One more sound. Let's find something fun. Wow. <laughs> hey, that's fuzzy. Put my bass thing in there. Hey, let's go for a fuzz tone. I'm gonna get rid of my vocal real quick, try this. Just goof around with it and then I'll get out of here. Just a superb guitar, what can I say again? Once again, the Ron Ashton, uh, rest in peace dude. Um, model again, model after their old volcano model again from Reverend, uh, another company I'm gonna love. I know they got a lot of stuff that's really cool um, that I've been wondering about and I don't have to wonder anymore because this is awesome. So let me see what this fuzz sounds like on here.
Okay, anyway, I am out of here, folks. Uh, groovy ass axe is all I can say right there. Once again, Scott Grove. GroovyMusicLessons.com uh, Come check me out. And uh, again, man, Reverend Guitars. Uh, who'd have thought? Maybe you guys knew way before I did, but very cool guitar. And um, I'm going to keep it. I dig it. And thanks to the guy selling it to me again. Brand spanking new, new old stock. Again, the 2008 version, so you can always tell by the headstock. Old style here, and you can look at the new ones on their website. Um, cool axe again, Korean made. Solid as a flipping rock, of course it would be with the Black Limba or the uh, uh, Karina. Um, what can you say? It's too flipping cool. And um, it, again, it comes in white, and it comes in black, and it comes in this color. And if it was actually Karina color, it'd be color this. But, yeah, you got rock orange. Man, I'm, dig I'm digging the orange guitar. Didn't know that I would, but I'm digging it. <laughs> uh, it'll be a great Halloween axe, man. That's, that's just awesome. So, hey, uh, whatever you guys think, um, you're probably right. Because you're probably thinking that's pretty damn cool. And it is. Okay, you guys take care. <laughs> Bye.